guys, Double Wide 6, and just recently I did a review on a Power Smart snowblower. It was a DB7659H, which is actually a 22 inch two stage snowblower. And the people out at Power Smart asked me if I could now do a review on their 40 volt cordless snowblower. So we're going to take a look at this, and that's what this video will focus on. So if you're interested in a battery powered snowblower, there's probably a couple reasons that you're looking at these. And I think the biggest reason is basically with gas powered equipment, you need to store gasoline. Um, you also have to do periodic maintenance to the gas powered equipment and you do run the possibility of having something like a snowblower that won't start when you need it. And that happens a lot because when fuel sits in a tank, it, it tends to gum up and it won't run through the carburetor on your equipment properly. With a battery powered tool, you don't have to worry about that. Um, this type of equipment, something this size, is basically made for smaller jobs, perhaps for sidewalks, walkways, it would be good for uh, a deck, um, smaller driveways, anything like that, um, possibly for a person that can't shovel, maybe they have back problems, these are really lightweight um, and pretty easy to use and maintain and take care of. So um, that's the main reasons for them. I put the unit up on the table to assemble it. It took me eh, about 15 minutes, I would say. All you need are basic hand tools, so I just used a knife to cut open the cardboard, a Phillips head screwdriver, and a 10 millimeter socket, or you could actually use an adjustable wrench, but that's all that you would need. Here's a look at the battery for the unit. It's a 40 volt lithium ion battery. And right now I have it in the charger that comes with the unit. It has LED indicators that tells you if it's charging or needs to be charged. The runtime for the battery is 30 minutes. The batteries for these units should be stored in a house or a warm building. You don't want your batteries getting too cold and then trying to charge them. You'll also notice that the uh, battery charger has a fan running in it and that's to help keep it cool. So before you can use your battery powered snow blower you got to open the battery compartment and of course put your battery in. The battery will slip right in here and then it needs to be clicked into place. There's some little tabs in the bottom that the battery actually sets in. So right there you can see the battery's in and there's LED indicators indicating that the battery is fully charged, getting three bars. You'll also notice that there's a safety key in here. You can remove that, then no one can start the snowblower and use it. And that just slips back in there. And then they have a snow and ice cover to keep everything protected. So one of the nicest things about this unit is that it's super light, probably weighs somewhere around 30 pounds or so. The height of the handle feels good. I do not believe that you can adjust the angle on this. It's pretty much locked right at this height. I'm about 5 foot 7 and this feels comfortable to me. Um, the handle turning the chute, you can go 180 degrees. To start the snow blower, there's a safety feature. You can't just pull the handle and have it start. That would be pretty dangerous if there were kids around. So you actually have to push this button in and then pull the handle. And now you can let go of the button and you're good to go. And if you should let go of the handle, it won't start unless you push that safety button again. So we'll give you a quick look of what the auger looks like when it turns. I believe the manual states the auger turns at 2200 RPM. You'll also notice that that unit is super quiet which is another great advantage of using an electric snowblower. 
Some of the other specs that are noteworthy are that it's a 40 volt lithium ion unit. It uses a battery. It does not use a power cord. So it's just battery powered. And they also wrote some specs on the machine here. Um, it says it throws the snow up to 30 feet. It has a brushless motor. And a brushless motor basically will run longer because there's less friction from brushes. So you'll get more life out of your battery. The running time, according to the unit, is 30 minutes. And it says that you can run it for 30 minutes and then you can charge it for one hour. So now we're going to take a look at the business end of the auger. And you have a steel auger in here. This is a single stage snow blower, meaning there's no impeller in the back. It just has the auger up front. So it'll gobble up the snow and just shoot it right through the top. The uh, rubber appears to have some sort of material woven in the center of it to strengthen it. And that looks very pliable and flexible and good. And I like the fact that this has a steel back on it. Some other models I know use uh, plastic for their augers where this actually uses steel. So we'll just do a quick run through of what we see with this unit. I like the fact that you can adjust the deflector 45 degrees up and down. I like the fact that the auger steel and has uh, rubber on here and that the rubber won't hit the ground and wear out. The plastic wear bar in the back is great for decks. You don't have to worry about it scratching up any surfaces. It's also lightweight. This handle, by the way, is really handy because when you bring the thing in your house, if you're storing it indoors, that's right where you want to hold it. So it's nice that it has that handle. The battery box looks pretty good. It has a lid to keep out moisture and water. It also has that safety key to protect your kids or keep your brother-in-law from using it when you're not home. So that locks in there like that. These cams are pretty nice. You can bend down the handles easily with no tools. It does not have a light on it. So you're probably not going to be able to use it at night unless you have some type of auxiliary lighting. The uh, manual crank works fine. No issues with it. And uh, I know some of the battery powered snow blowers have motors that turn to shoot. Um, it's not really that big of a deal and that's just one more thing to go wrong possibly. The wheels, they look to be pretty solid. They're just plastic wheels. A lot of snowblowers have pneumatic tires and a lot of times those tires end up getting flat and they don't have tubes in them so they're hard to blow back up. But overall, you know, this is a real basic lightweight unit but uh, it's priced really good. It's uh, about two-thirds even half of the price of some of the other battery powered units so i'll put a link down in the description where you can check that out and uh, you can look at some of the reviews on amazon from this particular unit anyhow i'm double wide six thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe because i'll be making a future video of using this unit in the snow see ya